Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stefan, the photo book guru, and in today's video, I want to review for you an amazing Canadian photo book company called Picto. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and make sure to check the notifications bell to never miss a new video. So it's been a long time since I've done a new photo book uh, review. I've done so many in the past, and it's not so often that I come across something that I haven't seen before, but Picto is one of those companies that I haven't heard before, mainly because it's in Canada and obviously their main market is the Canadian and US market, but they do ship worldwide so you can get these photo books from anywhere around the world. If you know nothing about Picto, the one thing that you need to know, even if you don't watch this video to the end, is that they provide professional quality photo books, from essential photo books, soft cover photo books, to luxurious wedding style photo books, with amazing print quality, lots of customization options, and a really good editor. And they also have some pro services as well. So stay until the end to find out more about it. So I've got two books from Picto, they sent it to me, but of course, as all my reviews, this is an honest review and it's not a paid promotion. So here is the little box that I received, I'm going to open it for you now. It's really well packed, nothing moved, it's a very good box, as you can see, things stay nice and secure inside. You can see a little logo on the box. Now I've got two books here and they are cello wrapped. Let me open them. One of them is a photo album and the other one is a premium photo book. There we go. So both of these are with pictures from Panama. A month ago I wanted to do something with newer photos. So you see something different, not the same pictures all the time. So the reason why I have these two books is because this way I get a chance to kind of show you the main difference between the product ranges and how to choose because there is a lot to choose from. So what I'm going to do is first talk a little bit about the website and then do my usual cover, sizes, papers, print quality, and the editor. When you go onto the Picto website, you see a beautiful website. It's very minimalist looking, very professional looking, but very nicely done. Not only are the products really nicely featured on the website, but this is the first website where actually all the information that you need is really nicely collected in tables and charts. So if you want to know the difference between certain products, you can find it. I didn't have to spend hours researching what's the difference between this and that, what's available for this and that. So if you go onto the website to the bottom, there's something called product info and pricing. And if you click on that, then based on every single category, you can click on photo books, hardcover photo books, and you'll see the difference between the essential, the premium, what's the difference between the cover, the papers, the printing options, the number of pages. So all the information that I usually give you is now available on that website, which I think is amazing because in this wealth of choice, it's really good when you don't have to waste your time looking up information just to find out a couple of hours later that they don't actually have what you're looking for. So um, as you can see on the website, if you are on the website, they do photo books, photo albums, that's the main activity, and they also do prints, not just any kind of prints, but very high quality um, artistic prints and fine art prints as well. They do cards, decor, and they also have services for professional photographers if you want to do drop shipping, so creating uh, photo albums digitally and having that printed for your customers. So they cater for the everyday customer like us and also for the professional photographers, um, and that's really good because most of these companies usually are exclusive to professional photographers. So let me quickly show you the two books here and then I'm gonna go into the details about what you can choose and what they are. So this book here is the hardcover premium and it has a textile cover as you can see and it is perfect bound. So that's how it looks. I obviously page it through in a minute. And this one here is the essential photo album, which as you can see is lay flat, opens fully flat. So let's start with the categories because it can be a little bit confusing if you don't understand how the books are broken down into 
uh, different groups. So the three main groups that they have are soft cover books, hard cover books, and photo albums. Now, within the hardcover books, you also have some lay flat books, but the softcover books and the hardcover books are perfect bound and the photo albums are lay flat. That's the main difference. Now, if you look at the softcover books, then they are obviously the most affordable of the range and they come with the most basic options. And then the hardcover books add obviously a nicer cover, textile, leather or vegan leather, and you have more paper choice and more size choices. The soft covers are kind of the small to medium, so 6x6 six six all the way up to 11 by 8 uh, inch size, and the hardcover books cover the very small all the way up to the larger sizes as well, and some of these photo books actually go up to 12 by 18 inches, gigantic photo books for those monumental occasions. So that's the soft and hardcover books, and the hardcover books also have um, an, an option which basically allows you to have lay flat pages, but it's not the same as the photo album. Now, all of these, uh, the soft and hardcover photo books can be broken down into essential and premium. And essential means that you have basically one paper option and you have the standard four ink uh, digital press printing. And if you choose the premium option, it's going to be five or seven ink premium offset printing and you have three choices for the paper. When it comes to the photo albums, they are silver halide printed and obviously that's going to make them more premium and they are thicker, sturdier and nicer. There's one more category that I've never seen anywhere else before. It's called the Renew Photo Book, which basically claims to use mostly uh, recycled material. So the board is recycled, the inks are compostable, and the uh, paper is recyclable, everything. And not just recyclable, but they're actually recycled materials. And they have certain certifications on the website that you can check. So if this is very important to you, then this company offers something that allows you to be more mindful about the environment. Now, many of you complained before that I talk about price in the end of the video, so I'm going to talk about the price right now here before I start getting to my close-up shots so you know whether this is in your budget or if it's not. I'm going to give you a guide price now for the different kinds of photo books in this 10 by 10 inch medium square size and for 20 pages, which is the minimum amount. If you go for the essential soft cover, which is the most basic option, a similar sized photo book is going to be $30. A hardcover book of the same size is going to start at $45 and the photo album of the same size is going to start at $175. So as you can see the price difference is quite big between the photo books and the photo albums but you'll see why later on. Now these are the basic prices for these photo books. Obviously the more options or upgrades you choose such as textile covers or seven color printing or uh, lost the photo paper then the price is going to get higher and higher but that's the cheapest you can get these books at. Now the company offers generous discounts if you order in bulk, so if you order more than 3, 4, 5, 10, they have discounts all the way up to 35% off. One thing that confused me about the prices is that I forgot to say that when you go onto the website, they have two websites, a Canadian website and a US website. According to the FAQs, the two websites should reflect on the prices, so the US website should show you the prices in USD and the Canadian website should show you the prices in Canadian dollars. Now I try to swap a lot between the Canadian and the US website and the prices show up the same to me. So like just a dollar sign and 275 and it's the same on both websites. So I'm not sure if that's a glitch or whether the price is the same in USD and Canadian dollars. I think the number should be slightly higher in Canadian dollars but maybe because it's going abroad it's slightly more expensive. I don't know but the point is that the price at the moment seems to be identical on both websites and by identical I mean the number is identical. Enough about that, let's go into the details. So first I'm going to talk a little bit about sizes. Now as you can see this one is the medium size 10 by 10 but the sizes go from all the way to from 6 by 6 and smaller sizes 8 by 8, 10 by 10, 12 by 12, going up to 11 by 14, 11 by 8.5 and 12 by 18. So a lot of sizes to choose from, square, landscape and portrait as well. Now let's see the covers. So you've got basically two kinds of covers or three. You've got the printed soft cover, which is just a print and it can be 
uncoated in the essential if you choose the premium you can choose from coated glossy and matte so three different options even for the soft cover if you go for the hard cover you can get the printed one which you can see here and the printed one again can be uncoated in the essential or if you choose the premium option it can be coated glossy or coated matte mine is coated matte and that's what you can see it's very soft very smooth beautiful colors on it that's what I expect from a coated matte cover. If you choose the textile cover, again, that comes in essential and also in premium. So this way it gets a little bit confusing. The textile cover doesn't just mean linen. It also includes the leather and vegan leather options. And the three options are available in many different colors. You can have debossing on it, your titles and many different locations. And you can have them also in many different colors. So I chose here uh, bronze, as you can see, and you can choose the placement of the debossing as well. The one thing that I'm missing from a very high-end company is uh, something like a crystal cover or a fusion cover or cover with die cut options. I think they're very popular for weddings, but maybe that's not their primary focus, uh, but it would be something nice to add in the future and then the, the selection would be really complete. Let's move on to the paper options. So this is again a little bit confusing. If you choose the essential with the photo books, then the paper is going to be a satin paper, which is basically semi-matte and it's 149 GSM, so a very standard thickness. And if you choose the premium option for the soft cover or the hardcover books, then you can choose from three paper options, which is satin, but slightly thicker, 216 GSM. You can also choose a matte option, which is again, 216 GSM, so much thicker, a lot more elegant, luxurious feel. And you also have the luster option, which is 260 GSM, and that's the one I have in this book here. Now the luster is not quite the same as a photographic luster paper, but it has a very similar texture and the colors came out really nice on it. It's brilliant white. If you want a slightly thicker paper, you have to choose the premium option, whichever photo book you choose. And the essential only has the 148 GSM satin paper. When it comes to the photo albums, again, you've got quite a few options. The essential option, so the basic option has a Fuji crystal luster paper, which is the most popular in the photographic world. It's the same lustrous finish, a sandy, pearly uh, texture. And if you choose the premium option, you can choose from Fuji uh, Crystal Luster, Deep Matte and High Gloss. If you choose the Renew Photo Album, then you have a 216 GSM, 100% recycled matte photo paper. And that's only available for the Renew uh, Sustainable Photo Book. Regarding the amount of pages, the softcover and hardcover books can go from 20 to 200 pages and the lay flat photo books can go up to 100 pages and the photo albums up to 60 pages. So the pages are a lot thicker, there's a substrate inserted between the pages and that's why the page number is diminished or reduced. And with the photo albums, you can actually choose the color of the insert between the pages from four colors. So you can personalize even that small detail so it matches the color of the ribbon. Now let's come to my favorite category, print quality. Now this company offers quite a lot of options. The essential photo books are printed using HP Indigo printers using four colors, which is the golden standard in photo book printing. It's, it's, it's a basic option, but it's a good option. If you don't want a photo album, but you want better colors and better resolution, then you can choose a five color or a seven color indigo print. And that basically means that they, they add um, more uh, shades of gray and more shades of, of cyan or magenta or yellow, whichever they choose to work with. And the more colors you have, the, the finer shades you can create and the nicer transitions you have between the tones. When you choose the photo album, of course, it's going to be printed using a traditional photographic technology. So the prints are made using chemicals and they are exposed onto the paper, creating a continuous tone print. I've talked about this extensively in my previous videos. Now looking at my two books here, and this is why I wanted to have the two books to be able to compare these options that I haven't even seen before. I have the seven color upgrade in the photo book and I have the the C print in the photo album. Now, when I compare the two, I have to admit that the colors look identical to me, like really identical. I can't see any difference in the colors. They are both just as rich, the same kind of saturation and the same kind of accuracy. The only difference that I see, and 
even the paper is the same because I chose Luster for the photo book and Luster for the photo album. The only difference that I see between the photo album print and the photo book print is that the photo album is a little bit softer, it looks more continuous, whereas the photo book seems a little bit more like that digital look. And I know many people would never even notice this, but if you, if you love your prints and you care about detail, then you'll see that, for example, this, there's a lot of nature photography in this book. Uh, like animals and uh, forest and there the, the photo album um, quality really makes a difference to the feel of the photographs. They look more real, they look more like a photograph and the photo book looks more like a digital print from a coffee table book. So the seven color print is really really good and it's really worth the upgrade from the standard four color indigo print. I have so many books with four color indigo prints and they don't ever compare to photo album prints or uh, C prints, photographic prints, but the seven color indigo print does really come close to it. And the final thing to talk about is the editor. Now the editor was an online editor that I used for these photo books and I really enjoyed it. There were no bugs, very easy to use, a lot of very handy features like autofill, shuffle buttons to create new layouts, lots of layouts to choose from, backgrounds, text elements, photo boxes, everything is customizable. You have an easy editor, which allows you to quickly drag and drop things without moving things around too much. And you've got an advanced editor as well, where you can customize basically everything on the, on the layout. Now, if you are a professional photographer or you prefer to create your own photo books in a different software, be it uh, Adobe InDesign, Affinity Publisher or anywhere else, then they do offer FTP uploads so you can create your books in a PDF format according to their templates and specifications and you can send it in for printing. So really whatever method you choose to create your books with, they can print it for you. For the shipping, you can choose from several. So all in all, let's sum up. It was a very pleasant surprise to see these photo books because as I said, it's very rare when I stumble upon a new photo book company or at least new to me. And it's always really nice to see something of really good quality. Many new photo books, especially the ones that are made for phones and smartphones are really basic with the features and quality as well. These photo books are not basic and they are really high quality. Not just the actual structure of the book, how they are made, how they are put together, but the quality of the print and the website, everything is really well made, very informative, looks good and looks elegant. I think the hardcover books and the uh, softcover books are very competitively prized. When it comes to the photo book albums, especially the premium one, which starts at $285 for 20 pages. Now, I feel that that's a little bit too expensive compared to the competition. I've seen many similar books at a lower price. I'm not saying that the quality is not amazing in them, it is indeed, but I'm not 100% convinced that the price difference between the hardcover and the photo album is justified. As I said, the quality of the photo album is really nice, very good, but slightly uh, over the price of what I would expect. The hardcover and the softcover is very competitively priced and I think the quality is really worth every penny you pay for it. So this was my very long review of Picto. I hope you enjoyed it and go and check out their website. You'll see some really nice uh, products there. And if you have any questions about the company, leave them in the comments and I try to answer them or I can forward you to the company. Thank you very much for watching and as always, subscribe for more.